Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The main trend over the next 10 days is for it to stay windy, but the most severe weather is expected over the next 48 hours. Two named storms, two amber warnings and disruption on Friday from snow as well as from wind. Storm Dudley is moving through at the time of recording the strongest winds affecting central and southern Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England. Amber warning here, 60, 70, in some places 80 mile per hour wind gusts to bring the risk of disruption and damage in places. But Thursday the winds gradually moderate, whilst another low, a fairly shallow feature early Thursday out towards the Atlantic, that is expected to be picked up very quickly by the jet stream. Powerful fast flowing current of air high in the sky, it will spin up that shallow low into a new storm, Storm Eunice, moving in very rapidly for the start of Friday. And you can see on the wind gust graphic here that actually if you go to bed on Thursday night, it could be quite calm out there. But during the early hours of Friday, the winds very quickly pick up, particularly if you're in Wales, south and southwest England. And the wind gusts here, corresponding to the key over there, well, they show that out in the open waters, 90 to 100 mile per hour wind gusts are possible. And there's the risk of really considerable wind gusts for the coast of Wales and uh, the Bristol Channel, southwest England as well. And this is 6 a.m. on Friday, so perhaps just waking up to those strengthening winds as we start off Friday. And then those wind gusts move east across the country as Unis tracks through central parts. Now, at the time of recording, there is a, still a degree of uncertainty about the exact depth and track of Unis, and that will make a difference to the peak wind speeds. So we're not completely confident that the wind speeds will be exactly as shown here, but this is the most likely outcome on Friday morning. And that would lead to wind speeds fairly widely in the amber warning area of 60 to 70 miles per hour. 80 mile per hour wind gusts even inland in some spots, with the risk of coastal gusts around West Wales, Bristol Channel, as well as the southwest of England of 90 miles an hour, with a smaller chance of 100 mile per hour wind gusts in some of the most exposed spots. Dangerous wind speeds. Also, as Eunice moves across the country, likely to bring colder air in from the north and lead to a risk of wind and snow for parts of Scotland, Northern England and Northern Ireland. More on that in a moment, but looking at those wind speeds for Friday morning and early afternoon across the southern half of the UK. Widespread disruption, damaging wind speeds in places and dangerous conditions, particularly around coasts and especially around the coasts of Wales, the Bristol Channel and southwest England. Very large waves and a risk of coastal flooding from those high wind speeds. So we'll keep you updated on all of that over the next couple of days. Stay across the weather warnings, they may be updated. Now, as well as those winds that are going to be most ferocious around southwestern parts, we're going to see the rain push north during the early hours of Friday, bump into colder air and then spells of snow for northern England, central southern Scotland, as well as northern Ireland. A few centimetres at lower levels inland, but considerably more over the hills, 20 to 30 centimetres over some of the higher spots of northern England, as well as central and southern Scotland. Combined with a strong wind, risk of blizzards, risk of drifting of lying snow as well. And you can see the sharp temperature contrast, three and four Celsius in the north, milder further south, but very windy still into the afternoon for large parts of the south. And then Eunice finally moves away for the second half of Friday to bring, well, very disruptive and damaging wind speeds to other countries across northern Europe. Meanwhile, a brief gap in weather systems, blustery showers follow for the start of Saturday before more prolonged rain moves in from the west for Saturday morning and early afternoon. Moves in quickly, but uh, certainly some uh, wet and windy weather to come for the south and moving across central parts, bumping into the cold air again. Risk of hill snow for northern England, southern Scotland. This is a relatively shallow feature compared to uh, the other couple of storms we're seeing over the next couple of days, but still the risk of some strong winds along the coast there, gales and exposure, and feeling unpleasant with the wet and windy weather. Colder, but brighter for parts of uh, central and northern Scotland to the north of that low. And then, meanwhile, during the weekend, another low gets picked up by another powerful core of the jet stream moving out of Newfoundland 
and once more that jet stream spinning up this low into a fairly vicious feature as it approaches the UK. The difference with the track of this low and Eunice is that it's further north and that means it will bring its strongest winds to the northern half of the UK on Sunday. Still some uncertainty on the details of this low but it looks likely to bring widely wet and windy weather in for the start of Sunday followed by blustery showers by the afternoon and it's for the second half of Sunday that the wind speeds reach their peak I think especially for northern and western coasts of the UK. So that's certainly one to watch after the next couple of storms. It's going to bring milder air with it, 12 or 13 in the south, closer to average further north, but not feeling very pleasant with all of the wind and the rain in place. The jet stream continues to be in control of our weather for the start of next week. You can see a powerful core of the jet stream across the Atlantic there, picking up low after low after low, but taking them to the north of the UK in general. So here's how things are likely to look throughout much of next week. Low pressure moving close to Iceland, the tightest isobars to the north of the UK, less so further south, but most of the UK seeing strong westerlies at times. Spells of rain followed by showers, followed by further spells of rain as those lows continue to move to the north of the UK. The strongest of the winds next week are likely to affect the far north and northwest of Scotland. Risk of gales, risk of disruption if these storms approach quite close and de develop uh, into nasty little features again. But further south, it won't be quite as windy as the next couple of days. There'll be spells of rain followed by showers. It will often be blustery and above average temperatures are expected because of that unsettled weather often moving through. So the next 10 days, windy, stormy even at times with the focus for the next couple of days on Friday. Dangerous wind speeds potentially from Storm Eunice when then it stays unsettled throughout next week. But the worst of the wind and the rain next week likely to be focused across northern parts of the country. Stay up to date with all the very latest Met Office forecasts and warnings. We'll keep you updated on social media, but you can also check the website and the app for the very latest warnings. And they may be updated continually over the next few days. So keep an eye on those and stay safe.